this is, this, okay, this isn't. Oh, that's wrong. Sorry. Can you still? I don't know. <laughs> Section. Okay, you'll be taken into theatre where you will either have an epidural or a spinal to provide anaesthetic pain relief. Some women choose to have um, a general anaesthetic so they'll be completely asleep for a short period of time. You're lying on a bed, you're surrounded by lots of staff and machinery, you will have blood pressure and oxygenation monitors set up and a screen is lifted up so that you can't see. Some women say that they do want to see, or you may be able to look up in the light above you. Hopefully you have at least your partner at your head. There will also be midwives present. And then the incision will begin into your lower abdomen. Your waters have to be broken. And you can sometimes hear a which is quite funny, giggle at that point. So the waters are, are released. Your uterus is then opened up and your baby is then pulled out. Usually held up so that you can see your baby and you'll hear those first cries. And then depending on your choice, either you'll have the baby put straight to you or they'll be taken off to resuscitate to be wrapped up and warmed up. And then brought to you. And then brought to you. And then hopefully you can keep the baby in with you while you're being sutured or else the baby is taken to the nursery while they continue suturing, which is all done behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. And then you're taken to a recovery area where you're monitored to make sure that your blood pressure and your vital signs are stable before you can then go to the postnatal ward. And then, unless you ask for it otherwise, it's quite a relaxed atmosphere in, in the theatre itself. So, you know, they'll be chatting, radio on, etc, etc. So don't feel frightened of asking it to be quiet.